Catholic Central's basketball team is off to another strong start, but this season it's not victories that are measuring success. Joe Alicio has more on the Cougars and a community trying to turn one crushing loss into an inspirational positive. I was on an official visit at uh, Fair State. We were at breakfast that morning and everything was normal and he was joking around. He just um, gasped for air. It's your dad. And like instantly my heart sank. I just don't really remember much after that. He had had a massive heart attack and we're sure he passed away there in the cafeteria. Better known to many in Grand Rapids as Southside, at age 51, Jimmy Polakovich was gone. I just have to get out of bed every day and try to figure out what life is going to be next. The ultimate struggle for Missy, Alex, and Jacob Polakovich. Yet somehow that struggle's path is very clear. I, I'm not going to be defeated. We're, we're a family, and this is what Jimmy would want us to do. My dad was... I hate saying that word was, but he he was just the epitome of tough love, you know? It was like, you know you have to do these things, why aren't you doing them? And then it was like, I love you anyways, and a big bear hug. Jimmy was the Jimmy in Southside Jimmy's, a restaurant and bar he and Missy owned together in the early 90s on Grand Rapids Southside. He was a really hard worker, and he would do anything for anybody. People appreciated that about him. He was very upfront and forward. You know if you were asking him something, you'd get the right answer. And I think people really hold on to that. Someone would almost always stop me and just ask if I was Southside Stun and, and tell me a story about from the restaurant or just how I helped him some way. So I think he just really enjoyed helping people. That drive to help others never more evident than this past summer as Jacob, a member of the Catholic Central basketball team, prepared for his senior year. Southside and Mama P, as the players know her, rented a team van to take the Cougars to all of their summer camps. Really, it was a bus. It was a bus. And um, just the whole time, I mean, that's really our best memory of him, just making, saying funny jokes and just... All of us, he was taking care of all of us. He and Missy rode up front and packed all kinds of food and uh, allowed us to, to do a lot of bonding together, uh, not having to ride down in separate cars. Southside was doing his part to bring this group of young men closer. And despite his death, it continues. Every time we break it down, we say, Southside, that's what we're playing for. Hey, Southside on three, one, two, three. Southside! T-shirts the team wears in warm-ups, pre-game prayers during the national anthem, and just before tip-off. I say a little prayer. It's something I kind of found, found comfort in. There's one more place during home games Jacob and his family can find comfort. I can remember every single game last year seeing him up here. A close family friend hung a banner in the corner where Jimmy always sat to root on any Catholic Central team. It's, it's everything to me. It just shows me that we're going to be okay. Just kind of looked up in the stands to see if my mom and sister were there yet and saw that. And our team and coach and all my friends, just the whole Catholic Central community, they're all just showing us that everyone's here for us. Just like Southside was and still is for them. For 24-Hour News 8, I'm Joe Alicio.